Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the new edition of Vamos Rams. I'm Troy Santiago with my broadcast partner, Ricardo Lopez, and uh, today we have a special guest, our second year running back, Karen Williams. Karen, welcome. It's a pleasure to finally have a chance to talk to you. I'm, I'm excited to be here. It's, it's a blessing to be able to sit down and talk to you guys. I'm excited for what's in store today. Great. Ricardo, Karen, uh, uh, have a great performance against the Seahawks, and then uh, we're looking forward to uh, what uh, he's gonna do against the 49ers. <laughs> yeah, Kyron, what it was like to be on the field in Seattle? You scored two touchdowns, almost three. Almost. I was wishing for a third touchdown. One year after getting injured, literally right. in the first play of the year. Man, like, like like everything in this life, it's a blessing for sure to be able to uh, continue to play out and live out my dream. Like you said, last year I was cut short due to an injury on, on my literal first play of the NFL. So um, just being able to come back a year later and be where I'm at now, it's just a blessing. And I'm super excited that I was able to go out there and showcase my skills and showcase everything I was able to do. Um, I know it's a step in the right direction, but it's something I can never be satisfied about. And I got to continue to keep working and continue to keep better so I can keep having weeks like that. How difficult was your, your recovery physically and emotionally? Um, physically, it was it was a lot because that was my first time being injured. And so being able to go through that and just um, kind of see and see how, see how it feels, being away from the team, just, you know, not able to walk. Like people, I know I took it for granted to be able to walk. And I didn't have a right foot for probably like six, four to five months. Wow. And so I was on a scooter just, you know, not walking. And so, like, just like I said, just physically, it was more physically, um, that was a problem. But mentally, that was where the biggest challenge was, is being able to get over those barriers of being able to, like, not walk or just to be able to not go to practice and be on the field with the, with the guys and do the things that they're doing. So um, mentally, I had to really dig deep, dig deep down into myself and find out who I was as a person um, and just become stronger because of that situation. So, like I said, I'm glad it happened because I found a lot out about myself. What a journey, and I, I love your mindset. Uh, does anyone in the team love the Rams more than Kyron Williams? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they do. Um, I'm, I don't know. I, it's it's kind of hard because I love them so much. Like I said, like um, I've loved them since I was probably a little kid. Ever since I was in uh, middle school, I remember going to all the Rams homes games in St. Louis uh, with my best friend, being able to see those uh, guys like Stephen Jackson, James Laurinaitis, uh, Mark Bolger, just Torrey Hall, Isaac Bruce, being able to see those guys, those Hall of Famers of Rams, being able to go to work and just you now I'm living out my dream. So. I don't know. There's not many people that you know love the brand as much as I do, for sure. That's great. That's great. And, and then uh, let's back uh, to what the experts said in the beginning of the season, because uh, most of them they say the Rams will be the Lambs, mm -hmm. and um, because we are a young team yeah. and uh, with a few stars and many new players trying to earn a place in the NFL. I think the perspective changed after the win in Seattle. Mm, I bet it did. I bet it opened a lot of people's eyes. Um, like you said, the experts. We don't really listen to those guys outside of this building because we know what we are. We know who we are as a team, as individuals, a part of this team. And we know what we can do when we all come together collectively and play as a um, Los Angeles Rams football team, whether that's special teams, offense, and defense. And when we do that, and we're playing to, f to our best ability. Like you said, it's they're going to change their minds about us a lot of times. A lot of a lot of times during the season, but depending on um, how the games go. So, um, like we said, like I said, it's. We like being in that situation. We like being the underdog so we, that we can, you know, come surprise everybody. And They just, don't know what we know. Right. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly what it is. And underdogs, that's what the Rams will be this Sunday. San Francisco, probably the most physical defense in the league. I thought sometimes they even go a little bit over the line, <laughs> trying to punish too much of the opponents. But what's the mindset? And I know you have this linebacker mentality and you yeah. take pride in pass protection. How are you guys facing this game? It's just another opportunity. That's how we got to see it as. You know, it's week two, another opportunity to be 1-0. And, and we try to just be 1-0 after each and every week. So um, we come into this game against the 49ers. We know that they're a good team. Hands the hats off to them. Hats off to what they do on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. But we know that we got to come in there and be the better team. We got to be the most physical, the most dominating. We got to be the team that executes the e executes the best, you know. Um, less turnovers, less mental errors on our side. And we just got to be able to play the ball that we play. We don't let the people that's across the ball from us dictate what we do. We control the whole situation, you know, we, and then what we, if we do what we got to do, we'll have a good outcome. We need it. We need it because in the last four years, I mean, San Francisco got our number. So uh, I hope um, it's a new year. Sunday. 
That's why. They, that's why there's 365 days in, in each calendar year, so that we can, um, you know, change the things that haven't made, made have happened in the past. That's great. That's great. I like. I like what you tell <laughs> right now. <laughs> September is a very important month for Latinos in U.S. Uh, you were in Mexico last summer. How, yes. how do you like it? It was so fun. Like I said, I was. I wasn't in like you know the resorts of Mexico. I wasn't in Cancun or Cabo. I was, um, like I said, we visited the city of Puebla, Mexico, nice. which is two hours two hours outside of Mexico City, and that was like my first time just being able to. Um, really embracing the um, the Spanish culture, being able to um, go around to see the different um, churches, the different uh, buildings that actually met, have a meaning to what their culture is and who they were as people of Puebla and the city of Puebla. So um, it was just a blessing to be able to go down there and just learn new culture because I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, which is far from here and definitely far from Mexico. So um, just being able to see that and open my eyes to those different type of journey, uh, journeys, I will definitely do that again for sure. Thank you so much for those words, uh, Karen. Yes. Uh, look, we need somebody in this thing to wear the sombrero this year. Ooh. <laughs> Who you think should wear the sombrero this year with the Rams? Hey, I mean, I had to be mean. I got no problem with that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yes. That's good. Karen, we're looking forward to see you on Sunday. It's going to be a war yes, against San Francisco. And uh, the opening day, it starts at uh, 105 in SoFi Stadium. And um, you can tune in in 1330 a.m with uh, Ricardo Lopez and I am follow action in Spanish. Can I steal one more? Yeah, yeah, what? I like your hair. <laughs> who has the best hair? I mean, besides Sean McVay, of course. <laughs> and who you like the best, you know, clothing style, the outfits, who you like? <sighs> so you're asking the best clothing style or the best hair? Because if we're gonna go to best hair, I got the best hair. Uh, one thousand percent. <laughs> There's nothing that beats my curls, you know, it's just, I don't gotta explain too much, you just know. Um, but there's a lot of guys that have a lot of different unique styles, you know, there's a lot of guys actually have that dress very, you know, good, like uh, Trey Tomlinson, he has a good style, uh, Quentin Lake has a good style, Jordan Fuller has a good style, um, Van Jefferson has a good style, Tutu, you know, there's a lot of guys that, you know, quote unquote, put that stuff on, um, so yeah, it's it's good, it's something to compete with, you know, another aspect of a competition. This is a guy of statements. A statement that he's gonna be one of the best running backs in yeah. the league. Yeah. A statement that he has the best hair. Yeah. And he wants a sombrero. <laughs> and I remember when you stayed too, it's gonna be legendary. Yes. So I hope so. And Sunday it's gonna be legendary. It's too. gonna be legendary. So Karen Williams, Ricardo Lopez, Troy Santiago, it's a wrap. Vamos, Vamos Rams! Rams!